Hello and welcome back to MLM Controversy number two. My name is Charles Rudabaugh, and I'm here back just to clear up the controversy. And what I want to talk about real quick in the second video is that big word, the big P word. I mean, I like just, just when I'm talking to people, I'm like, just use the P word, just use it. I'm gonna, you know. But the funny thing is, is brand new people get asked a lot, is it a pyramid? But the funny thing is, when you've been doing this for as long as I have, nobody asks you if it's a pyramid anymore, because you learn the right language to use that explains it in a proper way that people understand it's a it's a valid opportunity and everybody that comes and actually evaluates it with a critical mind respects it they may or may not want to do it but they respect it and so you know it's so funny is that that we get a, we, we all like you know oh is it a pyramid is it a pyramid but most people don't even know what a pyramid is a pyramid is where you recruit people but there's no product or service being being exchanged, no product or service being sold. It's a recruiting money shuffle where you get paid by bringing people in and they hand over their cash and it gets passed up. And people make a lot of money with those things real quick until they go to jail, right? So no real illegal pyramid is going to be in business for more than three, four, five, right? No illegal pyramid is going to be in business for 10 years, 20 years. They get caught, you know what I mean? And, and if you're a good network marketing company, you're not hiding. You're trying to get your word out. You're trying to let everyone know, it about, know, know what it's about. So real quick, the bottom line is in a good network marketing company, the guy at the top's not the one that makes all the money. Anyone can make as much money as they want, the most productive team makes the most money. So if you come in underneath three, four, five, it could be a hundred people in a row that don't want to do much, you can go build a whole entire organization that's massively productive, generating lots of revenue, bringing in new business, still building and generating revenue from old business, and you're going to make more money than everybody above you. And so it's just a matter of productivity. And so the reality is network marketing, it's not a pyramid. It's not about recruiting. It's about building a distribution network. So why all the buzz? Why all the buzz? Why, why you know, is there so much news? And why is Warren Buffett buying, bought a network marketing company? Why are so many thousands of companies getting started and building up their, their businesses using a network marketing uh, or multi-level business model? Because you're able to build a distribution network. Imagine like building a pipeline. Imagine in your mind's eye a pipeline. And you can send water through those pipes and distribute water. You can have an oil pipeline, right? Pumping oil through those pipes and making money. And wherever it gets sent and there are people buying it you're making money and so you can also put pump hamburgers through your pipeline not a real pipeline with pipes but a distribution network for hamburgers let's look at a business like mcdonald's they're not in the business of making the best hamburgers they're in the business of distributing the best hamburgers they can distribute for the price they can distribute them at where they make the most profit and so they have over 30,000 locations worldwide, and every one of those sells burgers. And the first day they launched Chicken McNuggets, they were the world's largest distributor of chicken. And I know what, the, what a chicken's breast is, and a chicken's leg, and a chicken's thigh, but I've never seen a chicken's nuggets. <laughs> right? And so the reality is, though, they're the world's largest beef distributor, the world's largest... Um, they're the world's largest chicken distributor. They're the world's largest toy distributor. They sell more toys than any other toy store combined, and they give them away with Happy Meals. They give away more Heinz ketchup than Heinz ketchup sells. McDonald's is a distribution network. And if you can own one, that's great. But if you can own 10 McDonald's, is that's even better because you have more distribution. You're going to make a percentage off of all these little stores going all over the place. That's what network marketing is about. You're building a pipeline, and whatever you send through that pipeline, whether it's products, makeups, vitamins, juices, lotions, whatever it is, you're going to have distribution. Or whether it's essential services, like with what I do, you're, 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 you're marketing services or products through this distribution network of people that are independent business owners or representatives or distributors or whatever your business calls them, but they're each a distributor marketing services or products to friends and family, people they bump into and come in contact with, excited about their product or service, telling people about it, gathering handfuls of customers around them, someone they know in another state, they call them up and sell them their product or refer them their service. And so it's a distribution network that comes at a very low cost. 
because typically you have to buy, if you have 100 stores, that's 100 retail locations with 100 managers and 100, all these headaches. Distribution networks like in network marketing, you can have tens of thousands of people and they're all independent business owners on 1099 incomes. That's why the allure. You can have a business without any of the headaches and costs of traditional business and have massive distribution without all the overhead, without all the headache, without all the government regulatory stuff because your parent company took care of all that for you. All you have to do is word of mouth. So hope that clears some things up for you and we'll see you on video number three. I'm gonna go back to the gym and get a second workout in.